you are wondering how to use the Dyson round brush and how to get this finished effect within 20 minutes, then stay tuned and continue watching this video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today's video is another one in the Dyson Airwrap series and I'm very excited to show you how I use the round brush attachment. So I'm very excited to use this. I actually haven't used this on my whole head. So this is going to be a first for me and yeah I really like the look of when you use a round brush when you blow dry your hair and I normally do that in order to keep control of the frizz and the volume in my hair. So today all in one I am going to use this on the Dyson Air app to do the whole of my head. So let's wrap into the video. So if you'd have checked out my last Dyson Airwrap video, it was all about my unboxing and all about how I use the curling attachment. And you would have seen the products that I use on my hair. I'm a massive, massive fan of Philip Kingsley and no, I am not an ambassador for them. Although Philip Kingsley, hook me up if you want me. <laughs> but yes, I am very excited to be using hair products from Philip Kingsley because honestly they saved my life with my hair. And the first product I'm using is the Daily Damage Defense. This is a heat protectant, so it's really important. Although the Dyson Airwrap is a really really good tool to reduce heat damage obviously you're still using heat on your hair so it's really important that you double protect second up i'm going to be using my elastic styler so for you guys that know me very well you know that i am absolutely mad obsessed with philip kingsley's elasticizer um, that really 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 saved my hair it's like a preconditioner i have used it in multiple of my videos before but this one sort of elongates the longevity of the elastic sizer so yeah i just like to run all that through my hair and you can use it on wet hair and you can also use it on dry hair i'm also going in with the philip kingsley bond builder this helps again to reduce the split end effect basically and finally i'm just going in with my standard wet tangle teaser and this helps basically just go through any knots and distribute all of the hair product evenly through my hair so first and foremost, I'm just going in with the styling tool with the miniature sort of hair dryer attachment. And this basically lifts any excess water over your hair because again, like I've said in the previous video, you want to make sure your hair is about 70% dry before using any of the other attachments. So I'm just gonna quickly go with this, blast off my hair, and then I'll get into the round brush. So now that I have dried off my hair, it's probably less than 70% dry, yeah, it's definitely like 50% dry, but what I'm going to do now is obviously separate my hair. I find it so much easier just to grab a clip and do it in sections. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair, and just for reference, I like to use the hottest heat and the highest power on my hair. I just find that this helps dry my hair quick because my hair really does absorb lots of water. And also what you want to do is to try and make sure that you clip your hair up and keep it as damp as possible as you can because the Dyson Air Wrap works so much better on damp hair as opposed to dry. But I have used it on my dry hair. I just find that it's so much easier to style from the very offset with damp hair. I have attached the round brush head. Again, all you need to do is just turn the lock button off and then just pop your attachment on and then release the lock button. So I'm just gonna take an inch of my hair and just, let's start at the back actually. Let's go at the back and then just grab this and basically lock leaves you with yeah, a voluminous piece of hair so what I'm gonna do is carry on doing that sort of technique with the rest of my hair I will show you once more again this is the first time ever using this round brush attachment and I think basically what it's gonna give me is just like a bounce in my hair not so much of a curl but more of like bounce and volume and yeah let's just carry on Okay, as you can see there, it really does give you volume at the root. So I'm really, really impressed with that. Sorry, I was just looking inside the mirror, but yeah, as you can see from there to 
for this side of the flat side of my head, my hair is very much more lifted. So I'm gonna carry on and see what it looks like. Let's fast forward the time lapse. Now, for full disclosure, my hair really does dry really thick and frizzy and wild. Like, if you picture Monica from Friends with humidity hair, that is me. But basically, that has just taken me to dry this section of my hair less than three minutes and it gives a, like a nice, smooth, sleek finish. And now, what I'm going to do is just sort of style the ends of my hair so it goes underneath. So I'm gonna turn the Dyson Air Wrap on and really concentrate on having a bit of tension in the bottom ends of my hair and then hit it with a cool shot just to set the cuticles and the style in place. Okay, so that is the first section of my hair done. It's left it feeling so smooth. I'm really, really impressed. I'm gonna try not touch it too much. I have a habit of doing that when I've styled my hair, which is probably why curls and things don't last as long in my hair. So let's do this side now, and then we'll go on to the top section. Okay, so we're now we're on the last section of the hair, and as you can see from my hair, it does dry wavy, and I never used to have curly hair as a child, but as I've got older, my hair just seems to dry really wavy, but not nice wavy, like it dries frizzy. So I'm now going to go back in again with the top section of my hair and just really concentrate on the roots at this point because I really want the volume to be lifted on the top part of my hair, just so it shows where the volume is. So just taking a section of my hair again like this, turning on the air wrap and starting at the root and then pulling down towards the bottom and then keeping control of the hair. I do really find it easier just to hold part of the section of my hair just to keep that control over it. The difference with this head is it doesn't suck the hair in like the curling barrels. You have to sort of control more with your hands the hair that you are wanting to keep dry. So can you see from the hair there as how much like it's sticking more forward than the rest of my hair? That is just because that's created the volume, which is great. So let's carry on. Okay, so this is creating a lot more volume in my hair now and I've left the front bits till last because I want to try and style them a little bit different. I want to make sure that they swoop around my face. So instead, this time what I'm doing is I'm gonna go on the top and then roll backwards like this way. So let's see how it turns out. And remember to go in with a cool shot. So as you can see, it leaves it with a nice swooping effect around my face. I was really contemplating whether to get bangs cut into my face, but I chickened out. So yeah, that is this framed around my face now, and now I'm gonna do the other side. So guys, that is the final product of using the round brush. It has given me volume in my hair. It has allowed my hair to dry straight, which there's a slight little kink there just a little bit but considering my hair dries really kinky this is an absolute amazing result so what i'm gonna do now is run through with just some smoothing serum just to get any flyaways away from my face but as you can see it's created like a nice rounded body around my face and framed it really nicely and yeah i've not had to put any straighteners on my hair at all which is a lifesaver in regards to heat damage of my hair so i'm really impressed let me just show you the back that is it from the back and now for the final finishing product i am using preen cream by again you guessed it philip kingsby guys and this just helps smooth any flyaways from my hair i literally just put the tiniest amount rub it in my hands and just lightly dust over the top of my head just to keep it nice and smooth and I just put a little bit around the frame of my face and then over the ends of 
my hair. So that was a little bit of a different video today. I know the most popular tool for the Dyson Air Wrap is the curling barrel. So if you want to go and check out my previous video for that, then head over to my hair and beauty playlist on my YouTube channel. But I'm really glad it comes with a variety of range of tools because it helps like change up your hair a little bit rather than just having it curly all the time. I do like having my hair straight every now and again. And yeah, I am really, really pleased that this was just used with a round brush. It literally took about 20 minutes to do, which again, is a lifesaver if you're on a time limit. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you are new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do because it would mean the absolute world to me. And give this video a massive thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for watching guys. And until the next time, take care and lots of love. Bye.